Hello everyone and welcome to Retail Archaeology. Today we'll be taking a look at the Dillard's location at Arrowhead Town Center in Glendale, Arizona. Now you see the brass frame around this makeup advertisement here? We're going to be seeing a lot more brass like that throughout the store because this store is peak 90s department store. It's amazing. Arrowhead Town Center opened in 1993 and this Dillard's anchor opened along with the mall. And uh, like I mentioned, it's absolutely gorgeous, this, this Dillard's location. Um, Arrowhead Town Center itself is actually a very busy mall, which is why I wanted to check it out. It's actually the only mall in the West Valley, which I think is why it's so busy. And it's really well maintained and, and just beautifully taken care of, and so is this Dillard's. I can't remember the last time I saw a purple carpet like that in a department store, but that is just awesome looking. And I love the black and white marble floors too. That's, that's pretty standard throughout a lot of Dillard's, but I've always thought it looked really cool. We've looked at a few Dillard's locations on the channel and outside of the clearance centers, I've always enjoyed the look and the aesthetic of the different Dillard stores and this one's no exception. See, I love that tile work there. It kind of reminds me of a Nagel painting a little bit, the, the black and white marble. It just looks really classy, I think. That purple carpet and then that area rug that's like black and white, all of that's very Nagel-esque to me. I also really love the ceilings in Dillard stores. A lot of them have this like groove that runs along the walkways that are, that's lit up. That also I think just looks really, really classy. Now we're getting over into the home goods part of the store and this is also just as nice and clean as the rest of the store and this area looks a lot nicer than um, this section would look in a lot of struggling department stores that we've looked at also on the channel. This floor to ceiling lit display is just another thing that screams 90s department store to me and I love it. Dillard's has been around for 80 years but they're on the smaller side of department store chains. They've got a little under 300 stores in 29 states and maybe that makes it easier to maintain their stores because like I said all of their stores with the exception of the clearance centers I've always thought have looked fantastic. Every mall that I grew up going to had a Dillard's location so it's a store that I'm fairly familiar with and, and we did a little bit of shopping there too when I was a kid. Um, we actually bought our first computer there. It was a Packard Bell 486. And uh, man, man, do I miss that thing. I wish I still had that machine today. Also, the uh, men in my family are not little people. I'm a little over six foot four, but my dad is almost six foot nine. And uh, Dillard's has always had a pretty robust, big and tall department. So we've also done a fair amount of shopping there just for like dress clothes and things like that, because it's, it's hard to find a lot of that stuff in your size when you're, you know, as big and tall as people like my dad and I are. It was a nice change of pace to film a busy department store for once and not one that was just, you know, super depressing right when you walked in. Everything in here was very bright and clean and even the employees were super friendly. So I, I really had a good time filming this one. Now this we were kind of surprised to find. I had no idea Dillard's was carrying vinyl. And they actually had a pretty decent selection. There's prints there, but it seemed like they had a bigger selection than even the Best Buy that I filmed not too long ago um, for my video about how Best Buy was phasing out CDs and would only be carrying vinyl. So definitely surprising to see more records at Dillard's than at the uh, Best Buy location we looked at. And here's the customer service department. I absolutely loved this area because of the gold gift wrap lettering up there and the actual gift wrap examples on the wall. I haven't seen that in a long time. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't go in there and film because it was actually pretty busy and there were quite a few employees in there, but I was able to sneak a couple shots at different angles, like this one here, for example. God, I, again, I love that tile work all the way in there. It's just gorgeous. But like I said, everything in there is just peak 90s. I love it. There's a ton of different colors of carpeting in here too, which is pretty amazing. I believe they use those to kind of color code the different sections because if you look at an in-store map, you can see the, the color of the carpet actually matches the color of that section on the map. So that's kind of cool. This color here might be my least favorite. It's nice to know too that with Arrowhead Town Center being such a busy mall, this Dillard's is probably not going to struggle or suffer anytime soon. 
Do you all remember that mall scene from Terminator 2 where the uh, liquid Terminator sees those silver mannequins? For some reason, these two uh, standing here reminded me of that scene in that movie. But uh, now that we've taken a look at the top floor, let's go down to the bottom floor of the Dillard's and see what it looks like. Now down here is the men's stuff and the jewelry counters and the perfume counters. And just like the top floor, the bottom floor really doesn't disappoint either as far as 90s aesthetic go. Like look at that uh, black and white marble column there on the left. That's freaking awesome. And the, uh, the tile down here, it's like a travertine type tile. It's nice, but I don't like it as much as the stuff that was up on the top floor. Also down on this floor, there's a lot more like hardwood flooring instead of carpet. And I don't like that quite as much either. I mean, it looks nice, but I like the, uh, you know, pastel purples and stuff of the carpet upstairs. But as you can see, it's, it's pretty busy down here as well. And it looks just as nice with that really cool groove that runs through the ceiling. And, and even though I don't like the travertine tile as much, it is really nice looking. It's nice and shiny and everything. And it goes pretty well with the um, silver and bronze trim of the jewelry counters and perfume counters and stuff. Man, is cologne and perfume expensive, though. And are there any perfumes or colognes anymore that don't come with some stupid, overvalued free gift? I mean, how much cheaper could you make this stuff if you didn't include that dumb free gift with it? I, I don't know. Honestly, the whole industry seems kind of silly to me. You know, when we were kids, we used to just buy the cheap knockoff stuff at the drugstore. <laughs> you know, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, my producer, Mark, actually worked in a Dillard's a long time ago in the uh, men's suit department, I believe. So, so maybe we can get him to tell us some interesting retail stories sometime about working at Dillard's. These three mannequins gave us a good chuckle the way they're posed. We thought it'd be funny if they, you know, dressed them up for Halloween like as the Three Amigos or the Three Musketeers or something. I mean, in reality, have you ever seen three dudes standing there like that, posed like that, perfectly in a line? I, I, I haven't. Not outside of, you know, three mannequins at Dillard's. <laughs> Of course, Dillard's wasn't the only thing we filmed while we were here, so you can expect to see videos on uh, the mall itself and also a few other stores at this mall. There's a lot of interesting things going on at Arrowhead Town Center. It's, it's become one of my favorite malls. At least it would be if it wasn't like an hour away from where I live. Look at how nice and neat everything's folded and organized. It looks a lot different than a lot of other department stores we've looked at on this channel. Now something else I also liked over here were these brass light fixtures. I bet those have been here since the uh, store opened in 1993. That is just some amazing 90s aesthetic with those. Now we'll take a look at the jewelry area and here's the, you know, kind of costume fake jewelry. I've, I've always kind of thought that stuff was pretty tacky and it's kind of, you know, the same at every department store. But they've got a lot of jewelry here as you can see when we walk down. There's a lot of cases, and they've got a lot of fancy names up there on the wall. Some that I recognize and some that I don't. I don't think this costume jewelry has changed since the 90s. Now, this Kate Spade watch display, I loved this thing, that green on gold trim. And if there was a way to get the Kate Spade logos off of it and buy this thing, I would love to have it to display something like a Game Gear or Game Boy games. Before we head on out of this Dillard's, we'll take a quick look at like the perfume area and lotions and stuff. And this is usually my least favorite part of a department store just because my nose is a little bit sensitive. So like all the smells from the lotions and the perfumes that are being sprayed around drive my sinuses absolutely crazy. I've also always found the um, perfume advertisements to be really silly with like, you know, all the models making that same dumb, vapid look. It's all really kind of silly to me. Do you have any memories of shopping at Dillard's or are you one of the many people that have commented on my other Dillard's video saying that you've never heard of the store chain before? I'd love to know down in the comments below. 
Also, let me know what you think of this particular tour because I think it's absolutely beautiful. I hope you all have enjoyed this tour of Dillard's at Arrowhead Town Center. Thanks for watching. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash retailarchaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. Hey, thanks for checking out my video on the Dillard's location at Arrowhead Town Center. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and also make sure to follow at the social media links down there because that's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.